The lawsuit was filed on Tuesday. The developer is hoping to build an eight story building here on this property at 295 Calhoun Street. SE Calhoun LLC is a development company headquartered in Augusta. In their lawsuit, they say they spent $12 million to purchase 295 Calhoun. They applied to have the zoning changed and the city did approve that change. The change would allow up to a seven story building to be built on the property, but that building would have to be approved by the Board of Architectural Review. The plan to build an eight story apartment building with a parking garage was denied. The company appealed and it was denied by the bar a second time. In the lawsuit, S.E. Calhoun LLC said they changed their plans after their original denial based on suggestions made and city staff approved the changes. However, on August 25th, 2021, the Board of Architectural Review again denied the plan. Quote, despite the staff recommendation and the fact that appellate had complied with the requirements from the prior denial, the bar voted five to nothing to deny the application. The city says in addition to the height, the look of the building needs to be changed to break the building up some. It's not necessarily the height itself, it's the height as it relates to the massing, um, the material usage in some cases, I think, um, that are, have been the issues that they've really discussed at those meetings. This lawsuit also calls into question whether the whole bar approval process in general is constitutional or not. That has some preservationists very concerned. It would be the Wild West here. Basically, people could build whatever they wanted um, within within their zoning, you know, allowable zoning, height, height and setbacks and all that. But in terms of architectural quality, um, I think it would be a real problem. The city of Charleston has 30 days from this past Tuesday to respond to the lawsuit. In downtown Charleston, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.